Hello guys, welcome back to another video. I'm back with reaction videos. As you know, my name is Taz and I'm gonna be reacting to some couple of close links videos from a bunch of YouTubers and I'm gonna let you know through what I think if this routine is gonna work for them or not. Presents calisthenics for beginners. By the way, I study anatomy, so I have knowledge about muscle building and on muscles, apparently. And based on that, I have improved in my planche from tuck to advance to straddle. You you can see I can do straddle uh, presses and many and many other stuff. Uh, for me now, moving from tuck to straddle is a piece of cake. But then when it comes to full planche, now you're just changing those gluteus muscles too. You're using more the lumborum uh, L vertebrae muscles rather than using the glutes muscles. Anyways, that's a different topic. But today we have easy roll fit. Um, he just came in my recommendations and I was like intrigued to react to his videos. I can see he's uh, planching every day and I see the improvement here. Uh, well, if you're watching this, don't be discarded by my thoughts on your routine or anything. I'm not gonna say that this is bad or wrong, I'm just gonna let you know that you're doing too much because I've seen one of your clips, you're you're working out too much but then it's it might work for you, it might not work for me but then I'm just gonna be biased and let you know what, what, what it is, okay? So let's begin. Mm, I usually started with push-ups but that was, I was a beginner, I had bad pushing strength so you know. Uh, yeah, right now I do handstand push-ups as my warm-up and he's doing handstands, which is pretty good It's 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 good. It's good so far. Of course handstand with floor best way to move your thin arm muscles your uh, Sorry too much anatomy uh, Finger muscles because you get more activation there of your forearms and everything But then if you want to be injury free or you have lack of flexibility in your wrist then you gotta use parallels as I use me who has a bone popped out I cannot uh, bend this hand well I can here but I can like add pressure on it so me as a person who can never do floor uh, I always rely on parallels you have seen all these clips they're on parallels and if you ever seen me on floor that was before this injury happened Look, you're doing handstands, cool. It's a warm up, it's not a workout, so you don't need to go max, okay? Just keep it between five, uh, nine, 10 seconds, okay? First of all, you don't have to rely on this uh, stupidity what people say, oh, you need handstand for 15 seconds, then move to this, no, bro. Uh, you just need to feel good. If you feel like, oh yeah, this handstand feels lighter, you feel stronger, just move to the workout, bro. You don't need to stay on the handstand. Remember that your energy at the start of the workout is always 100%. As soon as you get in the warm-up, you're using 10%. And if you are maxing out your handstands in the warm-ups, you're just using 50% of your energy there. And then when you go to full planche, you have exhausted yourself. And the nervous system cannot hold that much stress, you know? Your nervous system is not made for working out for straight uh, max every day, okay? Maybe you can do once in a week, but then, trust me, I who works out only 30 minutes. Yes, I only work out 30 minutes on planche. And look where I am. Start the planche presses. I have got everything. If you see my previous old videos, those workouts, I used to work out for three hours. And trust me, it gave me nothing but a wrist injury. So, okay, now he did handstands. Now he's moving on to planche again. Floor is gonna be very hard because you don't have that much space from floor to your knees to raise that, you know? There's not too much space there. But when you go to the parallels, you have so much space that you can lift your legs or you can drop them. But then the best way to see that your hips are up is to do floor, which is good. But again, I see some bent arm. I don't know if this frame, this angle is making me feel like, I feel like there's a bent arm there, but We'll see more what he does, okay? So, I have a tutorial how to do tuck plans to advance. Bro, if you feel free, you can check that out, it's free. Free tutorials, bro, you just have to check it out. Not that you have to do that. I'm telling you guys, check my tutorials only for ideas and knowledge, and then use them in your workouts. Don't follow the pattern which I show you in the tutorials, like, oh, do this, then, then do this. No, I just want to use some key points and then add in your workouts and then you do your own stuff. This is how you progress, by the way, okay? Now, 
him trying to push his hips again behind there is a video on that i've shown that you don't have to push your hips behind you have to lean more forward where your legs will automatically lift up that is how it's done because when you're lifting your legs up you will feel uh, you will feel like you're leaning forward right so why not lean forward and automatically your hips goes up okay so parallels helps us to keep that wrist straight as well but it also helps us to use all the you know extensors flexors and go all the way up when you break the wrist you're not using you're just you see you're just stopping this uh, blood flow as well you're just stopping these muscles to go straight down in the connection okay and you're doing that hip movement which you don't have to do it because when you're using that hip you're just you're just destroying all that connection with the back muscle to the gluteus and everything because you're now jump starting you're jumping it's like doing squats but you're 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 not you're not squatting does that make sense oh my days man clench leans yes good exercise for improving the lean and also improving the elbow strength again you don't have to round up round off your back you just have to protract get a decent protraction don't focus too much on protraction cuz if you keep on focusing on protraction you're going to get get stuck there forever when was the last time i did planch leans i did planch leans last month i guess add planch leans in tuck planch and try to lean more you know what i mean so you're doing planch leans with the floor right now you just switch planch leans with tuck planch and you focus on tuck planch leans instead of floor leans if if you understand what i mean more forward is adding more pressure on it but giving a tuck and then leaning more forward is going to add double pressure on it his exercise which he's doing he's reminding of my starting journey like i used to do these every single day i remember but the point is this helped me nothing thing <laughs> is that that i feel like this progress is pretty slow i'm not saying that this is not going to give you the plant this is going to give you but i feel like this is way too much slower progress than i think it is I like make somebody feel bad on based on their progress bro trust me you are doing great you're doing amazing and i believe in you you can achieve that i'm just saying that try to make it shorter try to make your workouts between 1 hour 30 minutes don't go beyond that and try to focus now more on handstand pushups rather than maxing out no don't max out if if you still don't know or you're still confused check my videos this is i have posted some routines there you can see i've been doing handstands first then i go straight to planche and then i straight go to tuck and then resistance band workouts but the main key point again if i was going back to my starting journey of calisthenics i would focus on handstand pushups first and then move to tuck planche is that when you're planche pressing have a measure of your hands you don't need to go wide some day and then shorter some day because you need to stick with one length size this is why parallels come in in the game if you see my previous videos here i always keep an elbow between my parallels because i'm always measuring when you measure your body is going to get used to that that area all the time you go wider you are now changing the muscle groups you are also changing the energy you are also changing the positioning so you know the muscle connection when you have the same length is going to get stronger each day but as soon as you start changing your lengths and widths your brain's now like okay yesterday he did close today is doing wide what is he going to do tomorrow what the hell okay so try to get a, a decent length stop changing all the time why i measure between elbow is because i went to the calisthenics parks and all of the parks which have the dip bars they have a distance of an elbow so based on that scenario i kept an elbow because i want to do planches in the calisthenics park sometimes so i have to train the length of the calisthenics parks at home so that i can you know be better I hope you are getting some ideas. Is it like interesting to you? I hope it is. Let me know in the comment section below. And protraction. There's no protraction here at all. Rounding that uh, hip joint and that spine, destroying all the back muscles connection, and there is no way you're planting it. <laughs> oh my day! You, you don't need to focus on these 
legs extensioning if you really want to strengthen your gluteus maximus or your medius or your minimus or your, all your gluteus muscles you just have to do this exercise which is the planche frog the planche frog is going to activate your gluteus muscles and also your hamstrings and quads so you don't need to do this just do the frog planche uh, the frog planche and you're going to be good my friend so cut this and add this and you're saving time and you're saving energy basically that straddle which you're doing that's the frog planche <laughs> yes that's the frog planche here so you just have to now close those you just have to close your ankles together to create that uh, diamond shape there so your glutes get some activation here and there the thing is that the muscle is not familiar with the gluteus maximus muscles connection with the back up there so you need to do frog planches and hold the reason why we do these 10 second hold and then move to next exercise is that so the brain can get time to understand how the muscles are like together in that position and then when you move on to the next the brain's like all right cool i got that but when you jump on exercises for a, and you're if like you're able to hold this but your brain's like okay he did leg extension, but it's not connected. Leg extension is different than what he's doing now. So the, you know, just, just do frog, frog, frog. Let's go, frog. You're right. Glute activation gonna help you to straighten your legs. Watch my planche. Clean, isn't it? It's clean. You can't deny that. It's cleaner than yours. But yes. Do frog planches, it's gonna help your glute activation, leg extensions, uh-uh, stop doing that, stop wasting your time. Sit to tuck planche, best exercise my friend, to improve the leaning as well, and also gives you that momentum in just understanding, oh, how tuck planche is, but it doesn't mean you're gonna do some swings, okay? Go with control to two L sit, and go to control to, to tuck planche, okay? Again, training those abs, training those uh, quads and the hamstrings, best exercise my friend make sure you have this in your routine remember l-sit can come anywhere when even you unlock handstand push-ups you can do handstand push-ups to l-sit to straddle but those are long as combos which you don't need to do them yet now you still need to focus on tuck planche tuck planche push-ups frog planche frog planche push-ups then advanced tuck advanced tuck push-ups and then straddle, straddle planche, and then full planche, where I am right now. <laughs> nah, don't, nah, nah, nah. Don't tell me you do rings now. Hell no. Nah. Is this the next day or am I tripping? You know what? I'm just gonna call it a day. This video is so long, man. It's just been two clips. Okay, I feel like I have given enough of my ideas to this guy. Is easy row lift. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. I'm bad with names. I'm bad with my my own name as well. Shop. <laughs> you start your routine with handstand push-ups, and then now you focus on. Of course, your tuck planche, and then you focus on tuck planche leans in tuck planche. Then you focus on tuck planche push-ups, and then you focus on the frog planche, and then the frog planche lean, and then the advanced tuck, and then the advanced tuck lean, and then some push-ups there and there. And make sure when you're doing this, you don't need a resistance band. Of course, the resistance band can help you improve, but me who has learned planche without resistance band, I cannot guarantee you had resistance band training yet but maybe once you get to straddle planche then i can tell you what resistance band training is because i did resistance band training after getting my first straddle planche which was back in 2022 or 2021 don't remember when it was but then i lost a year and then i had to do that again i lost again and i did that again and this year i lost again but now i have changed my routine and i haven't lost this time it means I progressed. So that routine which I did didn't work for me. Same as this one. So yeah, I've given you some ideas and thoughts and opinions. That's on you to follow. Um, it's up to you. Calisthenics is a free exercise or a free sport, I can say. Enjoy yourself at the end of the day. 
and make sure that you are happy with your workouts every day. Stay consistent, but make sure that your routine is always between one hour to two hours. You don't need to go too much. And I hope you a good plant workout. And I hope to see you in the Strider plant soon. And I'll be happy to react here. Well, if you feel like your doing is better than what I said, then prove me wrong, get that strata plant, and I'll admit it. Okay, until then, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.